I was in my off-campus apartment about two miles that way when the shooting happened. I remember watching the news and listening to the police scanner with my roommate to try to figure out what was going on. But a couple days later, I talked to Senator Greg Meyer right here in front of Caldo Labs. The Orange County Democrat said that Democrats in our state have been trying to pass more gun legislation for years, but have been rebuffed by Republicans at every turn. Now, several months later, we talk politics yet again. I mean, nothing has happened in the General Assembly that would make any bit of difference to trying to prevent another incident like the August 28th shooting. That's Senator Greg Meyer. He's a Democrat representing Orange County home to UNC Chapel Hill. To get the Republican side, I traveled to Henderson, North Carolina, a small town in Vance County just south of the Virginia border. I'm here to talk to Representative Frank Sossaman, who just finished his first year in the General Assembly. What has happened in the General Assembly since August 28th? Like, have there been any, like, bills or, like, discussions in regards to the shooting or, like, uh, gun policy in our state? There have been discussion, and there's been ongoing discussions as to what we can do. There hasn't been any bills per se, but uh, I know there's some work uh, sort of behind the scenes on what we can do that will be reasonable, that will be um, effective. In March, Senate and House Democrats introduced omnibus bills that would have required a permit to purchase an assault rifle or long gun and created a three-day waiting period to purchase a gun, among other regulations. Jeffrey Welty, an expert in criminal law and procedure from the UNC School of Government, believes the three-day waiting period could keep guns out of the hands of people going through a crisis, but it could also harm others. If you're a person who has an immediate need for a firearm, and what folks often talk about is somebody who's a domestic violence victim, who's moving out and is afraid of their former partner and wants to get a firearm for self-defense, you know, waiting three days might be too long. Democrats also introduced several other gun control bills around the same time that would have allowed law enforcement to destroy confiscated guns, among other regulations. The bills all died in committee. I wanted to get your thoughts on bills that have been introduced by Democrats to address guns in our state. Um, I'm, I'm sure there have been some. I, I, I can't recall. One gun bill that did pass this session was a Republican-led bill that repealed pistol permits in our state. Republicans overrode Governor Roy Cooper's veto of the bill and passed it into law in March. And this bill will become law notwithstanding the objections of the governor? I, made, I voted in favor of the bill primarily because the history of that bill, uh, it's, it's a Jim Crow bill. According to the Duke Center for Firearms Law, claims that North Carolina's pistol permit law, originally passed in 1919, was purely racist, quote, don't hold up to close historical scrutiny. While Sossaman said he supports taking guns away from the mentally ill, he admits he's not aware of any talks among his party about potential legislation on it. I think since most of the mass shootings uh, have mental illness in, in that shooting somewhere, some way, then I would, I would address it from that angle. Democrats proposed their own red flag law in March. It would have allowed law enforcement to confiscate the guns of anyone proven to be a harm to themselves or others, but it died in committee. I don't understand why anyone is opposed to red flag laws. And a, a red flag law is probably the single policy that would have had the most likely chance of stopping the murder that happened on this campus. And sometimes, as we all know, the devil's in the details. And sometimes if the details can be adjusted, then a law like that can pass. This year was the fourth consecutive year that Democrats introduced a red flag law in the state legislature and the fourth consecutive year that it failed. Welty says that North Carolina has a long history of expanding gun rights. They've tended generally to expand rather than to restrict gun rights in the state. But many other states have passed their own red flag laws. 21 states in the District of Columbia already have some version of a red flag law. North Carolina is one of 13 states where it has been proposed but not adopted. Meyer says that's because of Republicans. The Republican Party is completely opposed to any type of restrictions on guns. Uh, they seem to prefer to have violence and murder rather than having any type of restriction on firearms. In response, Sossaman said that kind of thinking prevents bipartisan action from happening. It could be hard for people with that kind of opinion to talk to anybody <laughs> and try to get something done. Do you think the legislature has the will to pass 
like more gun control? I don't believe the current legislature has the will to pass any type of gun safety provisions. As I said, I do believe that there is a role to be played and efforts should be made to bring around enough advocacy and power and pressure to try and change the current legislature. Sossaman says that he hopes there will be more bipartisan discussion on gun control in the future. The short, short session's coming up, but we have to have a lot of things in place prior to, so uh, hopefully there'll be some conversations about uh, these, these kind of laws that have uh, been addressed that Maybe there could be some success. In Chapel Hill, I'm Walter Rinke, Carolina Week.